you tired of looking like a human and you want to look like a cute doll instead? Then keep on watching. This makeup look is inspired by an Asian makeup style called Jiyin. It's very cutesy doll-like and makes you look kind of unreal. I'm not Asian, so I do this makeup style in a way that suits my facial features. I clearly won't look exactly like the photos I showed in the beginning, so just keep that in mind. Starting off with foundation. I use the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation in the shades 2W and 4N to match my skin perfectly. I put a few drops on each side of my face and mix it with my hands just because I feel like it blends better. And after, I use my beauty blender. For concealer, I love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My shade is 35N Medium. It gives really good coverage, so I just put it all over my eye area along with my smile lines because they both need it. <laughs> For my nose contour and blush, I use the Sigma Beauty Blush Cheek Palette and ColourPop Bare Necessities Palette. I love putting blush all over my nose, then going in with the contour after. I draw a end shape and then I draw a straight line right below it. For my cheeks, I like to put the blush on the center of my cheeks going towards the outer area of my eyes. I also really like to put blush on the tip of my chin just because dolls have it and I don't know, I've been doing it literally since high school. Now for my eye makeup. I use a mixture of the Sigma Beauty Palette, the Sample Beauty Palette, and the Morphe 35S Palette. You don't need my exact palettes, as long as you have one that has a bunch of pink shades, you'll be fine. I start off with using a light cool toned pink color as my base. I put this on my top lids and lower lash line. And to make it blend better, I tap my beauty blender along the outer corner of my eyes just so it looks smoother and softer. After that, I use a warm toned darker pink color and I'll use a more defined brush to make the outer corner of my eyes pop more. I add a bit of the darker pink on the edges of my lash line as well. I repeat the same process but with a more vibrant pink and I'll tap it closer to my top lash line and bottom lash line. I like to use my eyeshadow brush that has the color I'm using to put on more blush. After that, I'll use a tiny eyeliner brush and I'll use a even darker pink, almost like a brown toned reddish pink and I'll draw a baby wing going upwards because I feel like it lifts your eyes and you know gives you that doll appearance and I also like to drag it to my lower lash line as well. You know the TikTok filters that give you a bright under eye? I love that look, so to achieve that, I'll go in with a light skin tone eyeshadow color using a flat brush and I'll put it in the inner corner of my eyes and underneath my eyes. Do you see that difference? It just makes your eyes look so pretty and flawless. I don't even know how to explain it, but it makes a big difference. Trust me, do it. For my egg yolk saw, I use the Ofra Face It Midi Palette. Part of the doll look is having an egg yolk saw. If you don't know what that is, it's this area of the eye. I naturally already have it, but to emphasize it, I'll use an angled thin brush using a light brown shade and follow my natural lines. If you don't have one naturally, just smile and you'll find out where to draw that line. I feel like this is a step that really makes your eyes look bigger than they are and it's an important part of the Dewey and Styled makeup. This is one of the key features on that style. Now for my favorite part, the glitter. I use the Over Face It palette, the Urban Decay Moon Dust Glitter, the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm, and the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliner. I start off with a more glossy shimmer glitter, first putting it on the corners of my eyes as my glitter base. Then I use a more sparkly glitter going in with my fingers because you really want a lot of it and I put it on my corners and centers of my eyes. I repeat this step with my Fenty Beauty glitter. Girl, do you see this sparkle? Oh. It is so pretty, I love it. And the final step for the glitter is the glitter eyeliner. I put it on my inner corners and around my lower lash line. I also draw a little line of glitter underneath my eyeliner. I'm aware it is a lot of glitter, but it makes me feel so magical. It's so baby girl, so princess. For my brows, I use the Benefit Cosmetics Clear Brow Gel and the ABH Super Fine Detailed Brow Pen. I don't do anything special for my brows. I just fill it in based off my natural shape. Sorry, I lied about the glitter. We're adding more. I'm using the glitter eyeliner and drawing a line below my brows. Then I add glitter at the center of my face and the side of my nose. We just need glitter, okay? It's a part of the look. It's so cute. 
The lip products I use is a Halls lip liner in the shade Rip and a Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Honeymoon. I start off with overlining my top lip. Then I use a pink eyeshadow color and go over my top lip again with an eyeshadow brush. I do right below my nose and underneath my lip as well. It gives like a soft, plush lip effect. And here I am putting more blush on myself. I'm obsessed, clearly. It's never enough. Then I'll go in with my lip liner and line my lips again just to make it a bit more defined. And after that, I finally go in with my actual lipstick and I'll tap in the color. For the rest of my face, I use Haws Lab Setting Powder, Kiss Super Stronghold Lash Glue, and Amazon Mango Lashes. I use a small brush and I apply my setting powder everywhere. I do around my mouth, my nose, my jawline, underneath my eyes, and repeat the cycle until I'm satisfied. Don't forget the forehead. Oh, then I use a warm toned contour to contour my cheeks and jawline. Lashes. If you want your lashes to stay on all day, put glue on your inner and outer corner of your eye, along with putting glue on the falsie. This trick works so well and keeps your lashes from lifting all day. Do you see the difference lashes make when it comes to Julian makeup? It's crazy. That's why you gotta have the right kind. Keywords to find similar lashes to mine would be spiky, wet look, or manga or anime looking lashes. For my highlight on my nose, I use the NYX Epic Wear Liquid Eyeliner. If you're confused as to why I use eyeliner on my nose, it's for my iconic heart nose. Instead of regular highlight, I like to draw a little heart. I started doing this back in 2021 and I thought it was so cute, so I just made it a part of my makeup routine. I get compliments on it all the time too. Okay, okay, this is the actual last time I used my glitter. I finished by putting glitter on my cheekbones using a brush, then I go in with my glitter eyeliner for more sparkles. That is it, I'm done with my makeup. Part of the doll look is the hair, so I showed you guys how I style my hair too. You're welcome. I start with my bangs. I like to bend them a bit with my straightener and mess with them until I'm happy with the way that they look. Then I straighten the rest of my hair. Now for my little hairstyle, I take a piece of hair and do a little braid on it. and I do the same to the other side. And to make it cuter, I add in bows, of course. I make my own little bows by adding a bobby pin in the middle of the ribbon and I just slide it in my hair after. I do the same to the other side. And for the ends of my braids, I tie a ribbon around my hair.
Then I do some last minute touches and ta-da! My Dewey and Dolly look is complete! I love doing this makeup look. It gives such sweet angel princess energy. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you end up doing this look yourself, send me selfies in my DMs. I'd love to see it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.